Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMG Let's Play The Crooked Man. When we left off, uh, we met up with D, and then he ran away because he read the note um, that his professor left for him. So I'm not sure where he is, but I'm gonna go over to the auditorium because that's the only place where nothing's happened so far. So let me go ahead and save. I've got 80 health. We're doing really good. Uh, just as a forewarning though, this episode may be a little bit shorter. Hey, D! D, there you are, thank goodness, because I had to film another episode uh, before this, and I want to get both of them done and posted for you by the end of the day. So that's the reason why it may be shorter, or if I get stuck on something, I may not be able to edit it as much, but we'll just see where it goes from here. Okay, thank goodness, you're good. I always knew, at least, that I wasn't a genius or anything. But why didn't they just say it? I respected Professor Andrew, because he always supported me. Sure, I'm kind of dumb. I've been teased constantly for it. I've failed the test five times. I'm a failure. But aren't I free to dream? I've always dreamt of being a lawyer. That's why I still study so hard. Why did it have to be like this? Was everything I did for nothing? I don't know what to do anymore. D. Uh, that's, that's life? That's life, isn't it? I mean, you weren't cut out for it. What? Just looking at you kind of irritates me. Maybe it reminds me of, uh, reminds me too much of myself. You need to wake up. Aren't there enough hopeless idealists in the world as it is? You shut up. Yeah, I'm stupid, but I'll keep studying. Everyone's lacking something or another. In your case, it was intelligence. You you want a piece of me? In my case, it was my eyes. What? Huh? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a test pilot. Oh! I studied so hard and made it to flight school. But I was colorblind. Strange, isn't it? Just a few colors you can't see, and suddenly you have no right to fly. It seems so obvious to me now. But back then, I couldn't even comprehend. So I... I faked my vision results to get into the school. I spent three years playing innocent. I even managed to be an honors student. But I was found out. On the day of the pilot exam, no less. That day, I was reduced from an honors student to a filthy traitor. I dropped out, and now I'm just some nobody clerk. I don't mind if you still want to be a lawyer. But I just want to say something. Don't trap yourself by narrowing the road. Ain't it rough? Wasn't it your childhood dream? It certainly was hard. It still is. But looking at you, I realized. It's not much, but I make my own money. I have a girlfriend, and I drink with my buddy, and I enjoy life for what it is. I didn't want to recognize I'd been set back, but I can't deny where I am now. Nor all the work I put in back then. Are you happy with what you have now? Yes, though I didn't quite notice it. My life is how I choose it to be, so I shouldn't regret it. David is growing a tremendous amount in this game. This is like the one reason why I've been continually doing a Crooked Man. Um, because I feel like the story, it started off a little rocky, but it's getting better with each episode. And I'm really curious to see how, uh, like what happens. How about you? I, I won't give up, because, because it's, always, it's always been my dream to be a lawyer. I see. So I'll, just one more time, I'll try the bar exam. But if I fail, that's it. I made up my mind. I'll give up for good then. I won't mean those three, uh, but it won't mean those three years were a waste. Right, David? Yeah, of course. Is there any point to staying here? Let's go. I'll take you home if you want. Yeah, thanks. I don't think it's gonna be that easy. David, what's up? The crooked man is here. God dang it. <sighs> I need this to be a short and sweet episode. Wh what? Hey, hey, David? Yeah, remember the thing I was telling you about? D, get out of the school. I'll keep him away. Got it? 
What, what the hell? No, let's go together. This guy's bad news. Yeah, I know. He chased me. Who knows how many miles? It's me this monster is after. I'll take care of it. When did he become such a hero? Uh, Alright, <laughs> D's out. He's like, forget that. You just won't die, will you? Oh, my pipe! I'll finish you off this time. Oh, and I can save. I'm saving over all the slots. Oh, god dang it. Okay. Oh, okay. Good god, you're fast! Ow! Oh no, he's supersonic fast. Really? Tap all the buttons. Okay, I need to. Uh -huh. Oh! Am I hitting them or is it just making the noise? <laughs> Smarts! I got them. At least today I do. David, you're so slow. Are, are you sure you're alright? Hang on, David. I'll come to save you. Ah! S startled me, dude. You okay, David? Did you finish that thing off? Yeah, somehow. I just beat it with a pipe across the table. His brain's a little bit crooked, too, apparently. He's so fast. There's no other way to really do it, is there? Did I? Was there supposed to be some kind of secret key thing? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, somehow, but I don't think he's done for yet. I feel like it'll come back again. Wh what? What do you mean again? Didn't I tell you? It followed me all the way from a distant hotel. I don't think this is over yet. Uh, I, I don't get it, dude. But, you going somewhere now? I'd like to, but I don't have a destination. The guy I'm looking for wasn't here. It's the crooked man! So I don't know where he could be. Huh. <laughs> He's like, you're weird. Hey, hold on. I actually found this earlier. Any help? Paper with an address. Of course there is. Where did you find this? I found it in the basement. The paper looks pretty new, so I thought you just dropped it. Place of regret. Do you know where this is? No clue, but I think it's pretty far from here. Take about a day to drop. How do you know how long it would take if you don't know where what it is? What? I think I'll check this out. So long. <laughs> Hold on. You said you're looking for... Who, exactly? Ain't it dangerous driving around this late? Why you want to meet him? Because he's my soulmate. To be honest, I'm not sure myself. Though, I have sort of an excuse. Huh? Yeah, my apartment's haunted, and I don't want to live there. My point is, it doesn't matter why I want to meet him. It's just, right now, it feels like I have to. I have to go. Well, alright. Take care of yourself. Is your house far? I'll take you there. Don't worry about it. I can handle myself fine. Okay, be careful then. Wait! D always waits until you leave. And then he'll talk to you. If we meet again sometime, you want to have a drink or something? Of course. I look forward to it. Scene 2. Julius Stone Law School, D. End. We did it! We finished the second chapter. Awesome. All right. Ugh. That sounds weird. Wait, is that the car or a phone? Hmm? Because if that's the car's engine, got a pretty strong vehicle there, my friend. Was that my phone? I was sound asleep. No, it was your car. A message from Shirley. She called me again? What would she want this late? Maybe she'll call again tomorrow. She just called you. Call her back. I gotta go. Where are we now? Place of regret. This looks tainted with red. A hospital, huh? Really? Really hospital? Must be abandoned, just like everywhere else we've been. Or else it's got horrible or terrible upkeep. What's with him in these creepy places? Exactly, David. Should I go in? No. Can I really not? Can I go home? You are huge compared to this car, my friend. Let's go. Ah. Fine, we'll go in. Ugh, I don't want to go in. Oh, you're healed now, too. You must have had another energy drink or something. Okay, elevator seems to be stopped at four. Vending machine. 
Oh, I don't like this at all. What's back here? Oh, employee lounge. Okay. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. It's locked. I wonder if there's anything inside. It's a simple lock, so maybe I could get it open without the key. Uh, what what do you want then? Do I still have my crowbar and stuff? No. That sucks. My hammer? Alright, so we need to find something to open that. Uh, why do some of these have, like, stains on them? Some sort of equipment. A box! It says lost and found on top. D can we open it? No? Alrighty then. We're just gonna walk through this creepy little hospital. Uh, door to outpatient clinic has a number lock. Is this lock battery operated? It's not working, so the batteries must be dead. Well, the place is abandoned. Okay, so we need to go upstairs is what you're telling me. It's my only option. Oh, there's several floors and several rooms. Door seems to be busted. Door seems to be busted. Busted. Locked. Uh, well, I don't think we're going to run into the Crooked Man right away, but I, I'm really curious if we're going to run into another character and if they're going to be... I almost feel like these, these are like figments of his imagination. Oh, there's blood under that door, eh? Okay. Because, like, every character reminds him of himself, and that's that's not coincidence. Uh, okay? Oh, yay. A message. Dark red writing on the bed. Likely blood. Do not mourn them. Do not avert your eyes. It is happier for them. I have saved them. Them. Who's them? Don't want to know. Don't want to find out. Are we going to have like evil creepy zombie things or something? I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood for that. Door seems to be busted. Door seems to be busted. So all the doors are busted. There's one that's locked and then there's that one room up there. Okay. Are these all going to be busted? How did somebody bust all of the doors to the hospital? Every single one is busted. Never mind. Fountain drinks? Beverage dispenser. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, a book. They all contain helpful information. If I can stop the heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life the aching or cool one pain. Or help one fainting robin unto his nest again. I shall not live in vain. Okay, Emily Dickinson. Magazine rack. Magazine rack. So there's nothing here. I didn't even learn anything helpful. Okay. Did I check the store yet? Nope, that one's busted. That one's busted. That one's busted. God Dang it, why are there dead cats here? Dead cat, its stomach has been cut open. Poor thing, I can't look. Why would you do this? Who? Wait, there's something in there. Didn't you just say you can't look and now we're reaching inside a dead cat? There's a, oh god, the sounds. Got a bloody key. Yes, we did, and I'm guessing it's going to go to the... Huh? Were these as kittens? Were they cut out of its stomach? Oh, That's wrong! Okay, so we have a bloody key. Do we need to wash it? What does that say? Door seems to be busted. Of course it does! What else would it have said? Silly me. Every door is busted. Every single door, except for a couple, where they get all creepy on you. I guess we'll keep going up. What kind of stain is that on the floor? Dried fluid might be vomit. You guys see that? Scrap from a notebook. I sat in the chair and watched the bed like always. There was no one in the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I could only watch my family scream. I still can't answer that question. It's his notebook. No doubt. He was here. 
But is he still here now? Mm-mm. No way. A drab bed. Okay. So who vomited, though? Just curious. Okay, that's locked. Busted. Busted. I feel like I need to go back downstairs, but I don't know if I need to, like, wash the key before I use it with all the cat intestines and stuff on it. I don't know. Just guessing. Okay, door's busted. That door's busted. All the doors are busted. Okay, so now we can go back downstairs. So, I guess we'll go back down to, like, the staff room, right? In here? And see if we can unlock something? Uh, I don't think it's for this. Wasn't there something that said it needed a key? Or was it one of the rooms? I don't remember. I went through so many busted doors that I really don't want to have to go through that again. Okay, there was one of these that was like locked. Something was locked. I know it was. Can I can I use the key? No. Okay. I think maybe the second floor one had another room in there too. Uh, there's nothing that's locked in here though, is there? Yay for wandering. Okay, let's see what I got here. I got a bloody key. Can't read the tag. There was a door that was locked. Which one was it? It was one that was on this side of the screen, if I remember right. Which I'm hoping I remember right. It's not here though. Okay, that's too, too high. So let's go down another floor. And let's try these doors and see if one of them unlocks. I feel like something... Oh no. Am I going to be going around checking all these busted doors again? I don't have the time to do that. I don't think it's in here. Why are these... Okay. I was going to say, why are those pulled back? Who pulled those curtains back? I didn't. Uh, I don't need people to be moving stuff around on me. Mm. I could have swore one of these was locked. But maybe I'm just losing my mind. Maybe being in here makes you lose your mind. Hello, cats. Okay, I know for sure I encountered the locked door before the cats, but... If that's the case, then where... Do I go? Because the only thing that was locked was one of these, like, employee rooms, right? Is there anything here? Nothing looks different. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I really, truly, honestly don't know where I'm supposed to go, go. Um, uh, okay, none of those take a key. Oh, maybe this? Uh, what is this? Excuse me? Is this one of those things where you have to make it all the same color? Is that what you want me to do? I'll click around, I guess, because I don't have anything else better to do. Uh, well, I'm doing a really good job of making all the other colors pop up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna be so smart and you guys are gonna be just amazed. Just like you always are. And my skills. Or lack thereof. Okay. Eh. Eh. No? God. Dang it. Okay. Oh! Here we go. Nope. Really? I thought I had it. Ah. Gotcha. Okay. Oh! I got it! I did it! Open the key box. What's inside? Cafeteria key and elevator trunk key. Awesome! 
All right, that took way longer than I wanted it to, but we're making progress. I will save that for next time. So sorry, it's a short episode. Um, I, you guys will know in the, in the very, very near future why I'm doing a short episode so I can film two things for you guys. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play.